people are saying, Papa, what can be done by the DICT to incentivize or to regulate these companies so that they will have quality and affordable services? Um, that will be under the jurisdiction of the NTC, the National Telecommunications uh, Commission, mm -hmm. although it's an attached agency of the DICT. Yes. So we need to, we need to uh, work with them and see what's keeping them from being able to deliver quality service at the lower cost. Um, obviously, um, in the past, it was identified that lack of competition is one of the factors. Mm -hmm. That's why um, under PRRD, um, he pushed for the entry of a third telco, hoping that with that entry of the third uh, uh, telco, it will ramp up competition and result in better service as well as lower cost. And I think we, we've seen it, no? When, um, when this third telco came in, uh, we saw that uh, the offerings of the other two telcos um, have actually gone up. Uh, it, they used to just provide 10 Mbps at, uh, I think, 1,599. Now, some of their services already are up to 50 Mbps, and it's still at 1,599. So they kept the price, but the, but the service has gone up um, from 10 Mbps to up to 50 Mbps. So I think that, that competition um, has actually resulted in better consumer protection. Can we expect one or two more telcos to join the pack uh, aside from Starlink? Um, that's, that's actually a good question, uh, Sito. The investment costs. Uh, is huge and we see that with the third telco players the third telco player when it came in with a huge um, purse and yet it is struggling mm. in in its implementation hopefully with the signing of the public service act and uh, incentives for uh, investors uh, we've lifted a lot of the legal restrictions on foreign entities in coming in and serving 